What's up, Blockheads? At Orlando Harley Davidson South, and uh, we are looking at one of the bikes that you guys have been requesting a lot from me, which is the 2020 Harley Davidson Softail Standard. Joining me here to give me some specs is uh, OG of the channel, AA Ron. What's up? <laughs> You guys know in usual videos that he would give you guys the tech specs and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand it off to him and we're gonna get to learn about the bike a little bit. So, I mean, soft tail cylinder is pretty easy. It's uh, essentially just a stripped down street bob. It only comes in vivid black. So this color set up here, rather than everything being blacked out, you have a uh, chrome exhaust, polished aluminum heads and engine covers. They move the turn signal to the rear of the fender rather than the side mounted bracket. The only thing you really lose is the USB port. Everything else is pretty much the same as a street bob, just chrome. It's Still the 25.8 inch uh, seat height. Frame wise, everything's the same. Uh, one cool thing about this one though is Harley does bundle packages for parts. It's all listed on the website. So they do a performance package, which is basically stage two and exhaust. They do a coastal package, which is like a West Coast style. So your quarter fairing, risers, moto bars, step up style seat. They also do a day tripper and a touring package. So everything is bundled for whatever you might want to do out of the bike. This was designed to be the same as the electric glide standard, which is just a blank canvas to build it exactly how you want it. Whenever they came out with it, like it was one of those that I looked at and it's like, if I wanted to do a soft tail, you're pretty much buying something and then like stripping it down, doing whatever you want to it. This is a great model to start with. Yeah. In terms of braking, it's still gonna be like the uh, four piston, single front and rear. Only comes in the 107, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's a 107 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 and then uh, six speed still surprisingly has a LED front headlight So they didn't skimp on that which is good. So you guys be sure to go follow AA Ron on uh, Instagram I'll post up his name right here on the screen as well as down in the description below Also be sure to hit up Orlando Harley Davidson South if you guys have any questions hit up either AA Ron or Matt there I'll drop the link for them also down in the description below also thanks to AA Ron Appreciate you. Now the part where we test ride it. So let's go ahead and get on the bike. All right, guys, we're gassed up courtesy of Chris. Appreciate you, sir. No Hopefully we can beat the rain. Keep your fingers crossed for me. <laughs> All right, throwing a leg over. If you guys want those really like fine detailed tech specs, check out the link down in the description below. The point of these test rides is to give you guys an idea of how the bike feels, ergonomics, handling, power, all that stuff. So controls, traditional Harley controls, just to go over them real quick. Got your selection switch, got your horn, high beam, low beam, left indicator, on, off, hazards, starter, right signal, all your indicators. On the gauge clustery thing here, you've got miles per hour, you've got your time, you use a selection switch to change that bottom one. So you've got the RPM, you've got odometer, trip A, trip B, remaining mileage in your tank, and then the time again. So we're gonna leave it on RPM. And then you've got your fuel gauge on the left, you've got all the indicator lights down at the bottom. So neutral oil, engine light, high beam indicator, that engine light and the oil light should go away after we start it. Yep, it's good to go there. And then the RPMs are going as well. Solid clunk into first. Ergonomics, you've got, what are these? Are these, are these mids or are these slightly forward mids? Let's see if we can beat this rain. Ergonomics of the bike, uh, for those of you that don't know, I am five foot 10 inches tall. And it's got these like what? Mini, mini apes, I guess you would say. If it were me, I would need to push them a little bit further forward. They feel like they're a little bit, a little bit far back for my comfort, just because I, I feel like my arms are a little like bunched up. So I'd need to push them out. Just personal preference, but that's easy, as easy as, you know, loosening the, uh, the top clamp there and pushing it out a bit. Man, this thing feels great. The power in the Milwaukee 8, the 107, man, it's it's plenty capable. It's one of those things that I've said time and again throughout the test ride videos is that despite it being the smaller option of the Milwaukee 8s, you've got the 107 for like the, I guess, beginning Milwaukee 8, and then you've got the 114, and then now they've got like the 131 kits for it. I mean, the 114 feels good, but the 107 feels, like I said, plenty capable. Especially for like, I don't know, as stripped down as the bike is, you know, you're gonna have like the same power plant in this bike as a lot of the touring bikes have. So whenever you consider like the weight difference, like it's pretty significant. So yeah, going back to ergonomics, um, yeah, the bar is comfortable. My hands are pretty much in line with my shoulders. I do feel a little bit cramped up, not too bad. I mean, it would definitely, uh, 
I don't know, I think like on a, on a longer run be something that I noticed, but the perk of having the mids is you do feel a bit more like in control of the bike. You know, tossing it around like in, in corners and such. Dude, plenty of power. The seat, being a solo seat, not the most comfortable thing. There is kind of like a little, a little back kind of support piece, but it's, uh, man, it's pretty firm. Like with, like I said, with my height, the length of my legs, I do feel kind of like sitting back a little bit more, but the thing about that seat is that it's, I mean, you pretty much only have one position that you can be in since it is a solo seat. I mean, if you were to change out the seat and there's plenty of aftermarket seat options for this bike out there, you could like basically get something that's a bit longer and you know position yourself either more forward or more back i would definitely want something that i could go a little bit more back with my experience on my soft tail i really like the saddleman because you know you're you've got like a plenty of support for the back oh damn it wet roads no new bike ah damn that sucks it just like rain here also i usually make note of the mirrors and the mirrors i can actually see so uh, a lot of the time with mirrors on uh, Harleys, like the bars don't go out far enough to actually see past my shoulders and my arms. But with this one, you know, I can barely see my arms and the mirrors are actually usable and I can, I can see behind me. Well, that's nice. Man, I feel really bad like riding on wet roads with a new bike, you know. So, you know, you've got your skinnier front tire on this one and the uh, rear tire isn't the widest either. So the thing actually feels pretty nimble in terms of the, the handling. I'm not gonna get too crazy with it, obviously because it's got you know brand new tires and the roads are a little wet, not my bike and all. So I don't want to uh, scrape peg or drag peg or anything like that. Let's get on it a bit now that it's warmed up, see how it feels, accelerating. rips so going to highway speeds are going like 75 76 right now obviously no like windshield or anything in front of you now they do make different options like Aaron was saying so that you can get uh, you know a fairing or something in the front to break up that wind if you're looking to do some distance and that's the thing is like this bike it's so bare bones like from the factory that you can take it in whatever direction you want so you can throw a fairing on it if you want to do you know some distance probably throw some bags if you want to do it like throw some drag bars on it you know take it make it low and lean you can do that as well let's get on it one more time Feels good guys. Now the only thing I will say about accelerating like that on this bike is once again the solo seat. It holds you in a little bit. That little back part definitely like you can feel you can feel that part of the seat kind of holding you a bit. If that wasn't there you'd definitely be sliding off the back of it because like the bike has enough power in order to just like throw you back like that. But I feel like it's definitely like sticking me in my in my tailbone which not the most comfortable. But like I said that's a super easy solution. I would think that most people that are looking to get into the soft tail, like this being the absolute cheapest soft tail that there is, right? If you're looking to get in that soft tail, you know, you're looking to upgrade from like a Sportster or whatever like uh, entry level, you know, cruiser that you might have. You're looking for six gears, you're looking for something that you can customize out, build out a bit. Yeah, this is a great bike for it because, oh, suspension test right there. Suspension on the soft tails, it's actually very good. And it's adjustable, so I'm sure with this one, uh, it doesn't have the thing on the outside to adjust. It has the adjustment under the seat, but you know, it's uh, it's very easily adjustable with the mono shock. But yeah, I mean, if you guys are looking to get into that, you know, new, uh, into the soft tail line, you know, you upgrade like your entry level cruiser, but you're also looking to customize it a bit, you know, and you want to start with something that's like a bit more stripped down so that you can kind of build it up and like put your own touch on it. Like this is the perfect bike for that. This is like, people have been asking for this bike from Harley Davidson 
for a while. I might even consider one of these for like next season for the uh, for the Blockhead Bike Build, the bike giveaway that we do. For those of you that don't know, we uh, build out customized motorcycles. And so we're basically like getting into season five as of me recording this. We just got done with season four. And so we built out customized uh, 2017 Harley Davidson Dynalo Rider S. And right now we're doing this face off between three bikes. So we're giving away three motorcycles for season five. And what we're doing is we're pitting off a uh, Harley Davidson Iron against uh, Indian Scout against a Yamaha Bolt. So we're giving those all away whenever we're done you know at the end of like six months so that's season five and i'm already looking ahead but for season six i think it'd be cool to maybe do like another face-off season like that and uh we basically pit off some larger you know v-twin options and i was thinking either you know dynaline once again because you know you've got like the the twin cams or hell maybe even if we can find a good deal maybe on the standard whenever we come up to that a uh, street bob or you know an entry level soft tail like one of the newer soft tails with the milwaukee 8 this might be a cool option i guess we'll see i mean this is definitely the bike that i would consider to uh you know if i were getting into harley and i know what i do now and i know like that i customize my bikes this is definitely something that i would want to do and the cool thing also is that most people they end up doing bars with the height of these bars you know if you're looking to do like some some risers or t-bars or something like that like the cables and such look like they're pretty good length that you might might even not have to extend them which i mean that would be nice not having to deal with all those extensions you would probably have to obviously deal with like running them through the lot or the bars again and deep ending and all that stuff but so normally i do like to offer some kind of criticism on the bike so if i were to offer any criticism on this one uh it would definitely be the seat i think that's it honestly like the shifts feel good you know like it's a very you know positive you know feeling in the foot whenever you shift i always mention that because if you've ridden a bike with a mushy shifter you don't know if you've shifted or not the cool thing also i forgot to mention in the beginning is that it does have a gear indicator right there so that's super nice you know fifth fourth kind of helps you remember what gear you're in and all that out of that six speed transmission if i were to be getting into the soft tail line knowing what i know now about harleys and you know the fact that i'm going to basically be customizing it and making it my own i would i would definitely start out with this bike solid bike guys and like i said my biggest criticism is the seat but who's going to keep the seat the lean angle feels good on it granted you're not leaning it like a sport bike but you know for a harley it feels good you guys let me know what y'all think about the uh the new soft tail standard from harley davidson i think it's a great answer they've definitely like nailed a part of the market that i think people have been wanting Especially those people that are looking to, you know, get into a bike and customize it out. If you have any questions, be sure to post them up down in the comments below as well. And I'll answer to the best of my knowledge. If we're looking at this thing, you could totally keep the lace wheels. I'm a fan of the lace wheels, especially if you're going for that like old school look. You're going to change the bars. Um, like you can easily like get the uh, heads powder coated. I was talking to Aaron earlier about doing like a translucent powder on the heads as well as the wheels like you'd get some nice pops of color you could totally do the covers and then you're gonna swap out to a different exhaust like everybody changes the exhaust on a Harley so easy 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 I mean you can ride it as is and it's a great bike or you can build on it and customize it I'm a fan you guys let me know what you think is this something that you guys would uh, be interested in is this something that you would buy if you're looking to get into Harley get into that soft tail market you know like kind of more mid-level cruiser Anyways, that's the uh, video, guys. I hope you guys found it insightful. I hope it was useful. Once again, big thanks to Orlando Harley-Davidson South. Greatly appreciate you guys. Y'all be sure to hit up A.A. Ron and uh, Matt. I'll leave their links down in the description below. If you guys found it useful, be sure to hit that like button for me. Hitting that like button helps out the channel a lot. If you guys aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.